Hey, so for the senior prank this year, what if we like parked our cars where we don't usually park them? Oh my god, that is so funny. <laughs> yeah, math class this year with Mr. Burliday. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck Mr. Burliday, dude. <laughs> Uh, they are never funny. It's like the girls just laugh to avoid sexual assault. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? <laughs> wow, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, I'm getting into, like, humor and stuff. Anyway, you know anyone around here? Know where your classes are? I mean, kinda. There's, like, numbers on the doors. I think I can figure it out. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? So then my friend got the DLC, this downloadable content. It's like $10. Like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? Just something, you know, uh, what, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? I'd rather play dead at a necrophilia convention. Oh, well, yeah, you know. I know what? Did... did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. Ha, <laughs> nice rolly backpack, you fucking four-eyed, double-dick-sucking bitch. Hey, stop kicking it! This backpack holds priceless reading materials! Oh yeah? Like what? The like Bernstein Bears make eye contact? Hey, what is this, fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or something? Japanese, thank you. Some of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Uh, oh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay out of this, you... you girl. I'll just let this play out. I should beat your ass for liking anime. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, do it. I'm bored. Yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Don't pull my hair. Oh, I broke his glasses. I got a split. Oh, yeah, me too. I'm on probation. I'll catch you around. Why well, aren't you running off with them? They're pussies. I'm not afraid to watch someone grovel in pain. Well, they're all just assholes. That guy's been making fun of me for liking anime since the sixth grade. Then just stop liking anime? But I can't do that. Anime is my favorite thing ever. My life. How are you emotionally invested in consumption? Are you trying to make anime? I don't get it. Kinda. I make fan art based on the works of Sento Takahashi. You know that anime will exist with or without you, right? No. Wait, what do you mean? Like, Senti Takamoki, whatever the fuck his name is. If you died, he wouldn't care. He wouldn't even know. What's your point? How do you give a fuck about anything that doesn't give a fuck about you? Hey, in a translated newsletter, he said thank you to each and every one of his fans. That includes me. Oh, he writes in English? No, his fan club translated it from Japanese. That's my point. He can't even talk to you. You think he cares about you? Well, uh... Anyway, you want to stick to getting beat up over children's media? I'll leave you to it. Wait! Huh? What? Thanks for talking to me. Not many people are as nice to me as you are. That was nice to you, goddammit. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey, by the way. What's your name? Ugh, Nicole. Wow. Okay. Bye, Nicole. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, you look new. The lunch line's on the other end there. Huh? You're trying to find where the lunch line starts, right? You got here a little late, so it's pretty long now. Oh, fuck! For a sec, I thought everyone else was skipping, too. Where'd you come in from? Like, just outside? There was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird how? I don't fucking know. Is he, like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or, like, how can he afford someone to Adderall with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut. That's Jeffrey. I don't think he's all there. Like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different lunch period. What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? That's like, on your birth certificate? Short for Jessica, Avi. That's pretty punk for someone who dresses... so... Preppy? Yeah, my mom works corporate for department stores, so I get all this expensive stuff for free, but trust me, I don't give a fuck. Cool, yeah, same. 
Nicole, you ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like waking up in general hurts. And I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like 26. He just freeloads off my mom. I mean, we kind of freeload too, but we're 16. It's cool when we do it. Exactly. I have to tell him that when I'm woken up by loud chewing noises. Is he fat? Do you know what ex-bodybuilder fat is? Yeah, I kind of know what that looks like. Well, he's an obese monster. I was just curious if anyone else knew that bodybuilder phrase. He's not that. Good to know. Hey, let's gossip more at lunch. I gotta get to class. Dude, fuck class. Just skip with me. I told you yesterday, if I skip anymore, my mom's gonna start giving me disciplinary tattoos. How does it even work? What does she write on you? It'd be some weird shit, like, I love school on my fingers. Isn't that, like, abusive? She's the only mom I've ever had. How the fuck should I know? Huh. So where are you headed? Look, it's the first day! No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the ha-ha, okay? This year's gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck, I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole, you want my phone number too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good! Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in ten. So, gym class, showing our education system is pure evil. Why do you talk like a cartoon? What do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, what's up, doc? No, it's just this general, haha, I'm random cartoon channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? Do you mean like porn? No, just normal. Never mind. Huh, cause I like some wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. Try me. Huh? Most girls just scream and run when I say that. You're different. Well, are you gonna tell me or not? Why do you wanna know? Uh, everybody knows the coolest guys have depraved fetishes. Have you been on the internet? Maybe I'm looking for a boyfriend who can keep up with me. Uh, uh, all right. See me at lunch today. Maybe we could talk about it then. I'm so there. Awesome. Finally, someone to share my escapism with. Escapism? Yeah, I get lost in all these weird websites to get away from my gun nut stepdad. I think he was in Iraq or something. Doesn't matter anyway. I think mom's already looking for a new guy. A house full of depraved porn and firearms. What could possibly go wrong? What was that? Oh, just, I've wanted a chat like this for so long. So you like him how much taller than you exactly? At least like 12 feet taller, preferably 50. I want to be picked up with only two of her fingers. And what do you call that again? It's a giantess fetish. A woman so tall she can't even see those minute details about me. Like how I can't tie my shoes. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone to see that either. This is cool, what else? Really? Uh, well, I like it when cute girls walk all over me. Huh, you know, most people hate when they're taken advantage of. No, I mean, literally walk all over me. Love to be stepped on by a cute pair of feet. Well, hey, beats stepping on a scale, right? But yeah. Unfortunately, most of my fetishes can only be realized through my anime. The realm of the living isn't quite ready for 50-foot-tall vixens. Yeah, the real world sucks hard, dude. Did I mention how I liked girls with cat ears and tails? Do they meow when you have sex with them? Well, I wouldn't know. Haven't done one yet? I haven't done anyone before. Shocker. I wonder if the library has volume 31 yet. Hey there, Jeffrey. Things better with your dad yet? Oh, hello, Jekka. Unfortunately, no. He used my toothbrush to clean out his new assault rifle he bought from China. Wow, messed up much? Anyway, could you buy me another Diet Coke? Sorry, but I can't anymore. 
My mom's been wondering where all my lunch money's been going. Aw, you're mean. You don't like me anymore. Again, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Maybe I should grow 40 feet. Then you'd really like me. Hey, how'd you... (laughs) Maybe if you took your shoes off and stepped on his face. I can't believe this. She told everyone. It's okay, Jeffrey. Run away with me. I'll stuff you in my back pocket. (laughs) Shut up. He's feisty today. Meow. Oh, my God. So again, while I find the notes flattering, the boys need to quit writing bad bitch on my office door. I'll start tracking who left them if it continues. Well, it definitely wasn't Jeffrey. Oh? Fuck, you heard that? Why is it definitely not Jeffrey? Because you're not a cat. (laughs) Settle down now. I've heard the rumors going around about him, and you should all be ashamed of yourselves. (sighs) Ah. Thank you. I was really... Just because he prefers alternative forms of sexual intercourse does not mean he should be ridiculed. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little out of the loop. What do you mean by alternative? Oh god. Jeffrey here prefers to be stepped on by women who look like cats, as opposed to standard intercourse with a human woman. <laughs> Will this stop? Class dismissed. <laughs> You did this. Did what? Told everyone my darkest secrets. That was in confidence. Guess I did. Sorry. You ruined my life. I haven't touched my manga in forever. Not even cartoons entertain me anymore. Relatable. Do you even care? Do the results of your actions mean anything to you? Yeah, when they affect me, sure. No one in the realm of the living ever liked me anyway. Maybe things would make sense if I was dead. Maybe. I've had to start taking medication since you betrayed me. I also waited for everyone to leave just so you'd be the only one to hear this. Tonight when my mom's out with her new boyfriend, I'm gonna take the entire bottle. I'm going to kill myself. What? You chose to start this but I won't give you a choice in stopping it. I'm sorry, did you think I have any form of emotional attachment to you? Why else would you have talked to me in the first place? Why would you have lunch with someone you don't like? It... it was funny? I knew you'd say some embarrassing shit? So you used me. You were a new student trying to look cool... So you just used me. No shit. In what world does a girl like me take interest in you? If you're that fucking stupid, maybe you should kill yourself. Fine. I'll give you your satisfaction. But not before getting mine first. You're the only girl I ever loved. Even if it wasn't real. You knew me for two days. Bye. I would have left a note, but there's only a two-second window between staring down the barrel of a gun and dying. I'm not even mad I'm dead. Through all the news coverage that'll cry about me for a week and him for a century, it might be best for both of us they rarely get the facts straight. They'll tell you I was a sweet, innocent girl who'd never turn an entire school against the anime kid. They'll also tell you he was a twisted mastermind who didn't want to fuck fictionally tall women. So yeah, he seems cooler than me now. But try talking to him.